Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and with December and Christmas right around the corner, it's time for me to show off everything that I picked up in November. The one thing I love about making these videos is the fact that it makes me feel like a kid again with show and tell. Because show and tell is something that I loved so much when I was a kid, because it's like, hey, I'm bringing this cool thing to school, and I won't get in trouble for it, and I get to show it off to all my friends. It's like the teacher allows you to brag about what you have just for a little bit. <laughs> and then you get credit for it. Like, fuck yeah, I love getting credit for showing off. Now, if I was YouTube famous, I would make money for showing off. But alas, I'm not famous. But nevertheless, I still want to show you guys what all I picked up. So with that being said, I'm so excited for Christmas. Oh my god, Christmas is going to be great. But I'm already wasting enough of your time. Let's get into everything that I picked up. Now, normally, whenever I do pick up videos, I like to show off people that got me things for gifts first. And there's this one lady that I talk to, I call her Old Lady Pam. Here at the flea market that I work at with the game stand every Saturday morning, at least almost every Saturday morning, I try to do my morning rounds, talk to people before I start working, because when I start working, I can't leave, I can't take breaks. The only break I end up taking is a lunch break, but I'm still technically working, I'll still help out people while I'm eating. And I fucking hate it. But nevertheless, I love that job so much. But anyway, there's this old lady that I talk to in the morning, and she deals with antique jewelry, so I see how her life's doing and stuff like that. And here, she came across this little pin, and I didn't even know this thing existed. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Mario riding a skateboard, and um, oh, that was sweet! Go autofocus. Let me shed some more light on that, that looks a lot better. Now, apparently this is from Nintendo of America, it was around, what, 1988? Yeah, that's what it says on the back, 1988, so this has to do most likely with Mario Bros. 2, also because of the fact of the color scheme. But this is something that I've never seen before, ever. So this looks really freaking rad, so I have it on my Club Nintendo messenger bag. And that's not the only thing that Old Lady Pam got me. Here, apparently, some cereals was giving away Pokemon cards, and I don't really collect Pokemon cards all that much anymore. But she's like, hey kid, I knew you liked Pokemon, so uh, here. Here's a pack of Pokemon cards. And I wanted to open them up, but I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to wait until I do my monthly pickups video to open this up. So let's open it! But here's the thing. Here, I left it out on the kitchen table. And of course, we have like 10 million cats. So they end up spilling drinks and stuff. So it ended up getting spilled on, but it was wrapped up in this. But I'm like, uh, is, my is my thing still safe? And so far, it feels like it, so fuck yeah. I almost miss collecting Pokemon cards. I know the XY Evolutions was the one set I wanted to get back into because it was just reminiscent cards. But unfortunately, I never got them. I, I always got them for my ex, Emily. And she never even gave me her spares. Rude. Oh, at first I thought it was sticking to the wrapper. I'm like, oh man, it got inside somehow. But like, no, it was just like tucked in by like this little corner right here. So they gave us a little list of cards, I think. Um, oh, it's a little checklist, and then it has a, a Pokemon Camp app? What is this? This is cool. Okay, I thought it was going to be like a little code uh, to redeem some more stuff on the website. That I was going to give it to you guys, but no, there's no code, so okay. But the cards we did get are Litten. Oh my god, this is my favorite starter from Sun and Moon. Like, if I did play Sun and Moon, this would be the one I choose. I believe it's pronounced Young Goose, or Young Goose. I'm pretty sure Pokemon 7 and Pokemon Trainer Kayla are like killing me right now. But I think this is the one that's supposed to look like Donald Trump, right? And then we have a cutie fly. But I'm actually really happy that I got Litten. Like, these are actually really good Pokemon that I got. I'm, I'm proud of this. I'm proud of this. I would get more, but I don't really collect Pokemon cards anymore. So thank you, Old Lady Pam, for all that. That is so freaking sweet of you. And I also got one more gift from a friend named Katie. Here me and Katie started talking about like a year ago or so. And we never really did anything. Like, we met on, like, a dating app or something, and then nothing ever happened. And then one night she got lonely, so we decided to hang out, and she gave me this GameCube controller. And you can see, it's actually name brand, too. Like, it's a legit controller. So thank you, Katie. Shout out to you. And her and I are trying to hang out more. We're trying to become good friends and stuff like that. And so far, she seems like good bestie material. Because she doesn't even play video games or anything. She just found this, because, like, she just moved into her apartment. And she's, like, cleaning out stuff. And she just found this, and she's like, hey, do you want this? I'm like, fuck yeah. So now I have six of these controllers. And two of them are kind of starting to fall apart, so now I have four good controllers. So again, thank you, Katie, for this. This is really awesome. Okay, now it's time for me to show up everything that I picked up personally. There's some things I'm proud that I pick up, and some things I'm not so proud that I pick up. And unfortunately, one of them is Sonic Forces. Now, I've already saw like, reviews being mixed, and some people that are like friends of me on Twitter saying how they're very disappointed with the game, but I'm a Sonic fanboy most of the time, so I didn't really trust their opinion, because I thought I was going to like this game nevertheless. Honestly, my first ride with Sonic Boom wasn't all that terrible for me personally. I liked Sonic 06, so I'm like, okay, how bad could this possibly be? 
I didn't like this game whatsoever. Levels were too short, very disappointing, the story was utter ass. Infinite, I thought it was going to be a badass character, but he wasn't. And it felt very rushed, even though this was supposed to be a quote 25th anniversary game, but it still didn't live up to it. So I was very sad, but it's whatever, I mean, I, I, it's a Sonic game that's on my collection now, which by the way, I still need to rebuy Sonic Generations on PS3, so. Oh, and now we have a cat. Hello, sissy. So now we have a little friend, oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, she's hugging. So anyway, I, I didn't like this game all that much, and I'm sad. So let's move on. And also the fact that this went on sale for like $25 at Black Friday. I should have waited. Because I wouldn't have mind paying $25 for this game, but $40, well, technically I only paid like $34 because of Gamers Club Unlocked. I just wish it was a better game. Amiibos also came out. So, yes, I picked up some Amiibos. Now, I'm trying to go for a complete Zelda collection. I'm only missing three now. But it makes me sad that I don't know all these characters' names. And I'm trying to memorize them because I played Breath of the Wild, but I just can't memorize them for the life of me. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't collect the Animal Crossing Amiibos. Plus, there's just too many and I couldn't afford to have space for all of them either. Like, money-wise, they're dirt cheap, so I can buy them. I just don't have space for them. So anyway, we got this guy. Well, he's like super bright. Hold on. Okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, we got this guy. And here my niece also likes to play with my Amiibos. She mainly goes for the princesses, especially like Peach and Rosalina. But uh, she likes this one for some reason. I know this is Mifa. Uh, yeah, she likes this one as well. This girl is like not even four yet, and she knows what a pitchfork is, so I'm proud of Madison. And plus, she also knows who Mario is, so go her. We got Barbosa, which I only know this one because my friend Tori likes this one. So shout out to Tori. And then we got this Gordon guy, which I can't really remember his name either. I'm probably getting a lot of hate in the comments right now, but I'm sorry. But yeah, the only ones I'm missing now are the 8-bit Link, which I almost tracked one down, but it's sold out. And the Toon Link and Toon Zelda dual pack. If I can get those, then my Zelda collection is complete and I'll be super happy. I barely have space for them, but I'll still be super happy to have them anyway. I also went out on a date on Wednesday. I think it was like last Wednesday and I had a great time. We went to the mall and we did some shopping. Now this is something that I ordered a while ago, but they never had it in stock or when I did have it in stock, like it sold out instantly. So I felt like mine was on back order or something because they didn't say it was on back order, but it was like stuck in processing for a long time, longer than it should have. But here I got the Jughead Riverdale beanie. This is a Hot Topic exclusive and here I was on the lookout for a new beanie anyway because this one is like super loose and like it cannot stay on my head anymore. Like when I was on my date, well we went to Target as well, here this flew right off my head. So I knew it was time for me to get a new beanie. But ironically it flew off after I bought this anyway. But I didn't put it on yet. And I'm wearing it, and it's not bad. You actually saw me wear it in my one video. But if you haven't, you'll probably see it in future videos anyway. And I do like the beanie, but it is kind of tight and it is kind of small. But here, like, these spikes were sewn down. And here, when I was trying to adjust it and stuff, they ended up snapping off. So when the spikes are up, it looks kind of silly, in my opinion. So I'm trying to sew them back down, but unfortunately, like, my sewing job isn't the best. So I'm going to have mom do it, because moms are good at sewing. But I love the color of this beanie, though. It looks really great. And plus, these little pin things look really fantastic as well. But if I get a new beanie and if it's a different color, I have to have a different sweatshirt to match it. And plus, I was on the lookout for this sweatshirt for a while as well. And you know the sweatshirt that I normally wear, like my like my white and red one or whatever. I don't even know where that sweatshirt is. It's probably still out in the living room. And my cat is back. So I essentially got a black and gray version of the same sweatshirt. Again, you saw me wear it in my last video. So, yay. I actually like this one a lot. It actually looks really great. But when I wear it, and plus when I wear that beanie, it makes me feel like Black Goku. So when I put it on, when I got to the house with this girl, I said I was looking like such a bad boy and stuff like that. And we were just having fun. It was great. Oh, and she wants held again. Okay. Sissy, you have bad timing. I'm sorry. Oh, but she's hugging. Anyway, also while I was on that date, I also picked this up. Now, this is something that I've been looking for for a while. Like... Or I should say looking forward to for a while. And I'm kind of having a hard time trying to track them all down. Most of them I have on lockdown. But unfortunately not all of them. And this is one of them. The Crash Bandicoot Pop. Well there's actually I don't know seven of them different ones that you can get. A lot of them are just different variations of the irregular one. But this is the Hot Topic exclusive. The biker outfit. And my dad thought this one was actually really cool. So I got it. And I love it. 
Now, if I do end up getting all of them, which most likely I'm hoping that I can, like I even have the chase figure hopefully on lockdown. But if I do end up getting it all on lockdown and I have the whole collection, I'm probably gonna take them out of the box so they display on my shelf a little bit easier. But I will keep the boxes in a separate box so they don't get fucked up too badly. And I'm normally not a pop collector, but I love Crash Bandicoot anything, so I'm gonna try to get the whole collection. For those who are veterans, you might know that I used to have a Knuckles Pop as well, but I sold that mainly because I needed money really badly to try to get this laptop back here. It ended up selling for like 80 or $90, so I ended up putting it toward the laptop, and I felt bad because it was something that my friend gave me. But it also bothered me that I didn't have Sonic or Tails, and they were super expensive anyway, so there's no way in hell I was going to be able to get those. But I'm still happy though, like I'm still happy I, like, I had that in my collection, and now it's gone, and it was one of my most valuable Sonic pieces. But it got put to better use and I also donated my old laptop to charity so it's fine and I also bought one more thing on this date and I did a lot of shopping on this date and it was really bad <laughs> so for those who are familiar with my channel and you saw my few other monthly pickups you would have known that I picked up this Pokemon figure and I absolutely love it and I still have yet to do a review on it but hey I still love this thing it's really cool but here I found out this Pikachu is about the same size as my other Pikachu figures that are really small that you can still pick up today. So whenever I'm shopping, I end up looking at Pokemon figures sometimes to see if I can find anything to match my Ash figure. But most of the time I don't really find anything that scales too well because I would see like giant packs at like GameStop that have like the whole evolution chain of Pokemon. But the second evolution and the third evolution are like the same size as the starter. So they're not properly to scale compared to Ash. And that bothers me a lot. But then I found this one pack that actually was like perfect scaling. And it was like the perfect pack that I've actually been looking for for a long time. I didn't even know it existed, but like I always hoped I could find one like that. And it turns out it exists. And it's a set of the original starters. It was only like $12. And they look like the exact same scale as compared to my other Pokemon figures, so I'm like, this is perfect. So I was like freaking out, like, like I was trying to look for the Zelda amiibo, the 8-bit Link, and I found these instead. And I was with my date, and I had told her, okay, I'm gonna go to uh, the checkout people like, in the electronics. If they have the Zelda amiibo, I'll pick up the Zelda amiibo. But if they don't, I'm picking these up. And they were waiting in line, and there was some lady complaining how she couldn't get uh, a camera for a certain price or whatever. I wasn't even paying attention. I was like trying to find a SKU number or whatever to make it easier for them. It turns out they didn't have it. But as I was waiting in line, and I, was, like, I had to wait for a while because this lady was being all bitchy, I was really thinking in my head, I'm like, fuck, I think I gotta pick up both. But luckily, I didn't have to buy the Amiibo. It sucks I couldn't buy the Amiibo, but the point is I got these figures and they're really great. So let's get a close-up look at all these guys. First up, we have Squirtle, and he is absolutely cute. But out of the set, this is like the weakest pose out of all of them. Like, like he look, does look good, don't get me wrong. The sculpt and the paint job is fantastic. But it's just like, I wish he could have went with a better pose. But it still looks good on my shelf, don't get me wrong. And then we have Charmander, as cute as can be. Like, I love the way he looks. He looks fantastic. Now, Charmander is normally my favorite out of the three starters from Kanto. But the way Bulbasaur looks, like, just looks the best. That pose is absolutely perfect next to Ash. And follow me on Instagram, because I do plan on doing a few pictures with those figures, and it's going to be cute and fantastic. And if you see a slight difference in camera quality, it's mainly just 60 frames a second. Like, that's, like, the only real difference, honestly. It's because I upgraded my camera! Here, for the longest time, when it came to my recording setup, I was using that microphone in the background right there and a webcam. At first, I was using a Logitech C920. Then I upgraded to a Logitech Brio, and that did get the job done pretty well. But unfortunately, the Brio and the mic were never in sync, so I always had to fix that. And then the thing got an update and made it look like a potato. So I'm like, okay, it's time for me to upgrade. So then I upgraded to a Canon Rebel T6i with the Rode Video Mic Go. It's essentially a, like a YouTube creating starter kit. I didn't get the kit because I bought everything used separately, so I saved a, quite a bundle. But I wasn't 100% happy with that quality either. I mean, the DSLR quality itself was pretty good. It's just the autofocusing sucked ass. It had a hard time staying in focus, and whenever I did want it to focus, it didn't. It just wasn't that great of a time. So eventually, uh, my I want to say my manager, which honestly, I don't really know what to refer to him as. But here, he had the Rode VideoMic Pro, but it was a little bit riggedy. Here, the rubber bands broke on it, so the shock mount fell off, so he had to do a makeshift setup. And he sold me his mic for about 60 bucks. He also made a little makeshift dead cat as well. But I already had a name brand dead cat, so I just swapped that out. Here I also hit up Rode just like the other night. 
and I told them I was because I was already upgrading so many things. So I just wanted to be curious how much would it be to replace the shock mount for this thing. And it turns out they're just gonna ship one out for me for free. So now my setup's gonna look even more legit, which don't get me wrong, it doesn't look bad, especially with the dead cat. The dead cat almost hides it. But I want everything to be perfect, you know? So now I'm getting a legit shock mount for that thing. I'm super excited. So anyway, as I was saying, like, I also upgraded my camera as well because I got tired of it not staying in focus. And that's actually one of the reasons why I didn't want to do figure reviews anymore. So like I was saying, I had a Canon Rebel T6i, and now I upgraded to the Canon Rebel SL2. Now I've seen reviews of this everywhere and they were saying like this is a good one to start with or something like that. For uh, video content this is like one of the best cameras you can get. At least that's affordable. This is a great good starter budget camera. Getting something like the T7i or the ADD are probably better options but mainly for photography. But video quality it's all exactly the same. It's just that the other cameras have more points of autofocus. This one only has like nine, the other one has like, I forget how many. But for making YouTube videos simple as this, this is like the perfect camera. But I sold my other camera on eBay and bought this one used on Amazon. But I sold the body only and bought the body only. And here, brand new, like the kit lens and everything, it's only like $600. But body only is $550. Well, you might as well spend the extra $50 and just get the kit lens anyway because it gets the job done. It's not perfect, normally, like, professional youtubers or uh, professional photographers tell you to just throw away the kit lens but it gets the job done it works for me it's actually all I got I'm thinking about getting a wide-angle lens but honestly this angle does it just fine but anyway as you can tell in this video the auto focusing is so much better and the 60 frames a second looks really great as well but anyway I got this used like new for about 480 and I had prime shipping but for some reason it didn't ship out it took them like a week for them to ship it out and I was like on Amazon like with the live chat like constantly bitching at them hey where's my camera so I got it on Friday so it took me over a week to get it and the one guy that was helping me out he said okay I'll tell you what because of this whole situation I'll refund you $30 and I was happy with that so technically this cost me 450 then I sold my other camera on eBay for 400 but because of the eBay like PayPal fees and um eBay ends up taking like 10% at the end of the month, which is stupid. They should just do that immediately so you don't have to worry about it. So after all that said and done, this only costed me about $100 to upgrade. It looks really good. I'm like, I'm like really proud that I got this. So if you're trying to get a camera for YouTube, try to save up $600 and get this camera, but also get yourself a good mic. I'd say stay away from the Video Mic Go. You don't need that one. It kind of sucks. Go to a Video Mic Pro. Like, it, it, it's awesome. This is almost CND's setup. I just don't have the wide angle lens. Other than that, like the quality is going to be almost exactly the same. Now these next two things, I'm super proud that I got. Now like I was saying earlier, I work at a video game stand and here we get new games in all the time and we're trying to redo our inventory like we have it structured out differently now. And I noticed we had a lot of copies of Skyward Sword. And here if you got Skyward Sword, it came with the game plus a 25th anniversary symphony soundtrack. So, and it came with a two disc setup so like you have a little thing in the center that you flip to get to the game or vice versa, it doesn't matter. But I noticed one of the cases didn't have that middle section but it still had both of the discs but in a sleeve. And I was talking to my boss or I can say my supervisor, like, I, I don't really have real names, it's, just a, it's a flea market stand, we don't, we don't have official names. But if I'm going to refer to him as anything, probably supervisor, because he's still in charge of me, but not my real boss. But anyway, I was talking to him, I'm like, I explained the whole situation, like, hey, this is supposed to have this, it doesn't have that. So, and you know that I'm trying to collect game soundtracks now, so is it possible for me to snag this for a few dollars? At first he said, wait until the end of the day, then the end of the day comes, and he says, yes. But here, someone gave that guy a tip. It was like a $5 tip or whatever, and he's like, okay, I'll split it with my coworker. And at first I was like, okay, since it's fair, since you made the sale, I think it's fair that you get three and I get two. But then immediately it just clicked in my head. Or, better idea, you keep all of it, and I get the CD. And you have to think about it, and here for some reason, on the uh, the cases, the one that I was trying to get the CD off of was like marked down like two or three dollars. Like the one that didn't have the little centerpiece, so it made perfect sense. And he's like, fine, sure. So, I got the 25th Anniversary Symphony soundtrack. Now, my favorite Metallica album is S&M because it's with a full orchestra, and it sounds so good. It really complements their uh, music. And plus, it just sounds beautiful, nevertheless. So when I got this, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to listen to this. And I still have yet to listen to it, because I just got it the other day. But I'm so happy I got this, though, because, like, I don't want to buy Skyward Sword, but I do want to listen to the soundtrack. And I want to have it in my collection. And now I have it, and I'm excited. But this one, I wanted even more. 
and I was super excited to get this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Ocarina of Time 3D soundtrack. Now, when Ocarina of Time 3D came out, they had a little thing on Club Nintendo saying uh, if you either redeem so many points or you register the game in time, you get the soundtrack. And yes, this, a, this is a Club Nintendo item. But anyway, I was after the soundtrack for a while. Especially like after I started collecting the soundtracks because like I wanted this, but at the time I didn't have Ocarina of Time yet, so I couldn't register to get this. So I knew Ocarina of Time had a solid soundtrack. So after I started collecting, I was like after this for a while. And I would see some bids and I ended up missing out on them. But I got this. And my memory card got full. Whoops. Perks of shooting in 60 frames a second. So anyway, I got this for less than $5. But here, the problem with it was here the hinges were broken. And the case was kind of cracked. But I had replacement cases already. I had like three other ones. One of them looking really good. Actually, two of them looking really good. So I just swapped out the cases and now it's perfect. And I also made sure it still had the same center piece as well. So it looks absolutely no different. So I am really proud to have this. Because I'm not a huge Zelda guy, honestly, but this is something that I've wanted for a while. The only soundtracks I'm going to really struggle to get are going to be the Sonic soundtracks because they're super expensive, but this is still one I'm really proud to have. I wish I could afford to get the Melee one as well, but I can't afford that either. But I'll be on the lookout. If I can get it for less than 10 bucks, I'll pick it up. Because as much as I love collecting these soundtracks, I only buy them if I get them for less than $10. And plus, it's even more satisfying when you get it for that cheap, too. And this video is already so long, and I apologize for that. So there's one more thing that I got. Here, when I was streaming Sonic 06, for some reason, I realized my blue PS3 controller stopped working. At least the right shoulder button stopped working. It works like half the time. It's not a very reliable controller. So I started hunting, trying to see if I can buy a brand new controller. Because honestly, I don't trust used controllers. I want to buy them brand new. And plus, honestly, I was kind of done with the blue aesthetic anyway, because I'm all about red and black now, as you can see. Even my laptop is the same way. So I started hunting for new controllers, and I found one on eBay, brand new, in the box, name brand, for about $25, not even. I think I paid like $22.50 free shipping. But it shipped from China. But they also threw in a USB cord with it as well, and they nor never do that. So I was kind of sketchy. I'm like... Can I trust this? But it shipped super fast, at least for China standards. Like, it actually like only took a few days to get here. Like Normally it would take me like a few weeks or something or almost a month. But no, it just shipped in a few days and I'm really happy with that. But you can see like it's name brand, it's official. Like there's nothing wrong with it. And after working at the game stand for a while, we've had some bootleg controllers come in. Like the controllers, they would be loose and it wouldn't even say Sony. It would say P3 like, on the home button. So I know how to identify bootleg controllers but this is legit. And I still have yet to open it. Like there was a little hangy tag up here, but trying to get it out of the box because they really secured it, I accidentally ripped it off, but this is brand new. This is like perfectly fine. But the thing is, PS3 controllers are still in high demand. I have people ask me more for PS3 controllers than PS4 controllers. So now I got this and I kind of want to get a PS2 controller as well because I have one that's name brand and I have a third party one and a PS1 controller. And I want to get rid of those so that hopefully I can get a PS2 controller. But now I have this and I'm super excited. I'm going to bust it out, got to charge it, and it's going to be a brand new controller. <laughs> so that's everything I picked up, guys. Let me know in the comments, what do you think is the coolest pickup that I got? Honestly, the thing I'm the most proud of is going to be either the soundtrack or my camera because I fucking love this camera. But I scored so well this month. The soundtracks, the camera, the crash pop, I'm really happy with. But I'm really proud that I got that controller for dirt cheap. Also, by the way, apparently that beanie goes for like $50 or $60 on eBay. I don't understand why. And here's the thing, I don't even watch Riverdale. Because it's from Riverdale and I never watched it. But I thought the beanie looked cool because I was shopping on the Hot Topics website anyway. So I picked it up. But yeah, I'm so proud of everything that I got this month, and I'm super excited on how Christmas is gonna go. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. So if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there's all my, like, my Twitter, my Snapchat, my Instagram. And again, let me know in the comments, what is the coolest thing that you picked up personally? And let me know what you think is the coolest thing that I picked up overall. And let me know how you feel about the 60 frames a second. If it looks great, then I'll stick with it. If not, I can always go back to 30 frames. Doesn't really matter to me. If I go over 30 frames, I can get more details, like, in the little shot. But with 60 frames, it looks smoother. Again, just let me know in the comments. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new, like, subscribe. And I'm super happy I got all of this. Like, this is, like, I honestly didn't expect myself to get all that much this month. Because I was in the beginning of the month, and I was, like, already halfway through. I'm like, God, I got, like, little to nothing. This is gonna be shit. I'm just gonna wait until December to show all this off. But no, this ended up being a really good haul. Now it's time to go Christmas shopping. I love you guys so much. And also, I got a new member of the family. Found a caterpillar at work. 
and he's a wooly bear, and he's the cutest thing ever, but he's kind of like in here, so you can't really see him all that well. So here's a picture of him on my desk. He is the cutest thing ever. He has little claws, but he also has a bunch of little feet. And oh, I love him. So now I'm taking care of him until he turns into a moth, and I don't look forward to that because I'm going to have to let him go. I love him so much. He is the cutest little thing. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. I've already wasted so much of your time. Thank you guys for watching to the end, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Peace, peace.